Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to maximize the return of your own home renovation. So as a home owner, you definitely want to put in a lot of nice amenity to enjoy your home with a customization that will feel perfect for you. But on the other hand, you may be a little bit short on funds, so you have to be smart on how you put in. But at the end of the day, right, you want to know, have the assurance that when you are ready to sell the house, you get good return on the money that you put in. Usually, homeowners run into two risks. On one hand, they may overspend. They may over improve with respect to the neighborhood. Put in the top end finishes, all the latest amenity, but may be a little bit too much. When the buyer comes along, they look at it, say, well, it's nice, but I don't really need it. And they are not going to give you the money that you are looking for. On the other hand, you may also understand that you are so short on dollars that you just trying to do a tiny bit, really limited the scope. In the end, you may not be fully able to correct the problems, update it, or get the style that like the buyers are looking for. So when the time comes for you to sell the house, the buyers see that they actually end up have to redo everything. In that case, you're not going to get return on your money easily. So I'm going to use the house that I'm renovating right now. That's what you're seeing. Uh, to give you some of the points that I'm making and give you a guide on how to be smart about your home renovation. Before the start of the home renovation, first you have to come up with a budget. You don't want to spend beyond the budget. And so how do you do that is that you look at the recently sold homes in your neighborhood. You can find those usually in DeSillo or Redfin. Then find one that is renovated to a very good state, minus the purchase price of the, your home, and that should be the absolute maximum budget that you should spend in your home renovation. If you spend any more, then you know that you have over improved. Now, let's do a walkthrough of the house so that we can discuss each item and evaluate whether there will be a good return for your home renovation project. Keeping in mind that there are two aspects that you should consider. Improving or restoring the function or enhancing the aesthetic. Both are important, but sometimes one can give you a better value for your money. Starting from the exterior, the stuccos and then the roof are in good condition, so we should not really change it. Okay. And then now, walking close to the house now, the garage is once again in good condition. You may choose to change it, but you, the next buyer may not really like your style, so you can really do simple fix like painting or we even changing the grill of those windows to make it better. The driver is actually in rough shape, so that actually may be something that you should consider is to do a paver of the driveway. And going into the main door now, everything's fine. Uh, changing the door is not a big item, so you should totally do that. Going inside, you can see the living room level. The layout is quite awkward. You can see the kitchen on the passing by. The kitchen is quite small and very outdated. So not only you should update the kitchen, but you actually should take down the wall between the kitchen and then the rest of the living room. And that is the open kitchen and open living area that everybody is looking for. Okay, now going into the rest, you can see that um, the flooring is of different levels. It has a sunken sitting area. Once again, you should spend money putting in some 2x4 so that to level it out. As for the rest now, you, you can 
see that there is a fireplace and then the、um, patio. So it's really up to you whether you want to keep the fireplace renovated, or you can take it out, expand the patio window all the way to look into the backyard. So that is something of your own style and your own taste. But if you do it right, then it will be really up to the latest trend of the indoor outdoor space, and that will be amazing. Going upstairs, we have the staircase. The railing definitely has to go, and it doesn't really take much, and yet it will give you a good style boost. With the small landing, we can see the hallway bathroom. It's small and also very outdated. It doesn't really take much to update the vanity, the showers, the tub, and then also the toilet. So it will be a really good to spend the money on the bathroom. Into the bathroom now, usually that isn't much to be done. So as usual, right? You should always look into upgrade the flooring and then the window. Window especially will give you a really fresh look on the house. And same as all the interior door, they don't really cost that much, but give you really big bang for the money. Going into the master bedroom now, it is a good size. So other than when you changing the flooring and the window, like the rest of the house,、uh, there's not much to be done on the bedroom side. Instead, you should focus on the bathroom, and then the master closet. The configuration is really awkward right now, so you should redo it, and also really spend time and money on the finishes. Nowadays, all homeowners are lo looking for a hotel-like, spa-like bathroom. So it's okay if you spend a little bit more, and to give it a high-end finishes. And also, don't forget to put in a nice closet organizer. Always a good return for your money. Downstairs, we have a den. Or sitting room area to get in with the laundry room and the closet. So that's really not much to be here. If you want to convert it into a bedroom, so that you can add another bedroom, that may be one option. But be careful then that you will also lose some of the living space. So that is really up to you for that. Finally, let's take a step outside and then take a look of the backyard. There is a really good-sized backyard, and then looking into the hillside, you have really no sight of the neighbor. This is where a lot of the homeowner may overspend. You can pick, put in a lot of the nice hardscape, like pavers, decks, and then put in a lot of beautiful flowers, trees, and so forth. But it's very easy to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars into one backyard, or if you put in something like a hot tub. Unfortunately, a lot of the buyers may not like it, and even for a pool, the taste for pool honestly comes and goes from my area. So you really have to make smart choices. It's okay if you want to spend a little bit more to enjoy it, but you spend too much. You're just not going to get your money back. So that's all of the tips on how to maximize return on your home renovation project. I hope that you find them useful. If so, please let me know in the comment section. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. I will continue to put on more tips. On home remodeling. Thank you, and bye now.